All right, folks, I'm going to get started uh, just a minute early, unless I get waved off. Um, we're going to be talking just a little about the Argo project. How many people are familiar with Argo, have heard of it? About half the audience, so maybe we just a quick primer as we get through this. Um, just a brief intro here. Argo project is actually four projects. It's very unique in the CNCF because we're not just one tool, we're like a bunch of tools. And uh, so those tools are Argo Workflows, which is very popular for doing data pipelines, machine learning, any kind of workflow that you want to run on Kubernetes, Argo Workflows has you covered. And it especially has this amazing superpower to scale out and use the resources from many nodes, which is one of the reasons that it's so popular with data pipelines. Um, Argo events is for general eventing off of Kubernetes. Something happens, you wanna send an alert, trigger something to happen, uh, that's, that's your tool. Uh, Argo CD is a GitOps deployment tool, which I'll talk a little bit more about. And Argo rollouts is a tool for doing canary, uh, blue-green, progressive delivery. Um, we recently ran a survey on these tools. We, we do a survey every year for Argo workflows and Argo CD, and this year was the first time we've done Argo rollouts. Uh, most people, uh, how many people are familiar with NPS and what it means? Very few people, okay. NPS is basically a score where you ask people how likely they are to recommend your product. And uh, an example of uh, a bad net promoter score, it stands for net promoter score, would be like most internet service providers, you know the ones, they have like a negative 40. Okay, so that's like a, a bad score, right? Uh, the iPhone, everybody loves the iPhone, it's like, it's like 50. Um, so uh, Argo Workflows is 27, which is like, that's good, it's solid, people really like it. Uh, Argo CD is 76, which is like when you can get a compound and uh, invite people to change their life. That's what a 76 means. That's a joke, it's okay. Um, Argo Relics is 35, very good as well. So uh, if we look at the star growth on these, and star growth is not a perfect metric, uh, just compared to other existing tools that are out there, you can see Argo CD and Argo Workflows very much accelerating in their growth and uh, show no signs of stopping, which is very cool. Um, and of course, Argo is super popular. So Ticketmaster, EA, Adobe, Google, Alibaba, GitHub, Robinhood, Intuit, Sumo, Major League Baseball, Peloton, Tesla. Um, we, have, we have hundreds and hundreds of adopters. So if you have not put your company name there, please go to the Argo repo and you can, there's an adopters file where you can add your company on and uh, you can show your love and support for the project in that way. Um, so let's talk just for a moment about Argo CD. Uh, there's a tendency, if we think about CI and CD, CI is where we build, we test, we promote artifacts. CD is where we deploy, test, and rollback. And uh, classically, CI has been overextended into CD. And this is because you've got kind of a workflow engine, you can, you can script it out, so you do it, you shove it in there, and you start letting it deploy things. But it's not necessarily optimized for that. And so this is where Argo CD comes in. So Argo CD gives you the ability to create an application. And an application is a custom resource definition in Kubernetes. And you can define a source of truth in Git and a desired destination. And the application is essentially a policy for how that source of truth should be reconciled and pushed into deployment. So far, so good. This simple uh, idea is entirely revolutionary and it's completely changed the way that people deploy their software. And if you're not using Argo CD yet, um, just starting here, will vastly improve the performance of your teams. Um, now, uh, let's talk for a moment about Argo rollouts. This is a tool that um, I think people are sleeping on. Do you guys know that expression? People are sleeping on this? It means like the world is happening outside and you're asleep and you're missing it. Argo rollouts is a tool that, uh, for example, Salesforce, 
Every single one of their services is using Argo rollouts. They're not using it with Argo CD, by the way. All these tools can be used independently of one another. So you don't need all of the whole suite of stuff. You just pick the, the tool you want and use the job. But you can take, inside of Kubernetes, you can take a deployment object and you wrap it in a custom resource definition called a rollout. And it's, it's basic, you just say rollout and you reference the deployment. And then you can specify how you want it to be deployed. You can say, give 10% of my traffic the new version of my application, run some metrics, arbitrary metrics, check Prometheus, whatever. And if it looks good, keep going. And if it doesn't, roll back. And this gives you a GitOps friendly way declaratively to handle progressive delivery. It's incredibly powerful, and it is basically zero cost. Implementing Argo rollouts basically costs nothing from a time standpoint. I mean, it takes, like, I can do it in like five minutes. It's like, it's like that quick. So um, it's, it's a game changer. Hey, any Argo rollouts fans in here? Hand is helpful. I was looking for like, woo, you know, like, because then, because then, because then everybody else is like, oh, well, they're really excited. I got to use it. All right. Um, so a couple of things that we have coming on uh, integration. So backstage, obviously very popular IDP platforms. Um, you want to build your own IDP? Hey, we've got a plugin for Argo CD, so you can actually you can actually get the status of all of your applications inside a backstage and build that into your flows. Um, so that's a really nice uh, tool that's available for you. Um, Argo workflows, there's a number of different integrations. Kubeflow is very popular, uh, but basically any workflow engine is going to work with Argo workflows at this point. Um, I'm sorry we don't have more time to go deeper into those. So what's next for Argo? Well, we're working on Argo CD 2.11. We just released 2.10. Um, we've just done some security updates uh, and uh, have been working through those. Um, and we're going to be doing more uh, more work to expand the project. There's a number of proposals to do OCI as source of truth. So this would allow you to not just point at a Git repo as a source of truth, but also point at an OCI repo as a source of truth. Um, in addition to Helm charts, which we already support, right? Um, we also have uh, some additional um, proposals out for handling environment promotion. So, hey, you know, I want to deploy to this application and then I want to promote those changes up. And there's a lot of work going on in there in the community. If you want to get involved, we do weekly meetings. They are in an EU friendly time zone. Uh, and so we'd love to have you join us. Check the Argo uh, project calendar for those meetings. And of course, join us in Slack. And uh, we'll be in the project pavilion. Feel free to come tell us what you love, what you hate, what you'd like to have in the project. Thank you so much. Thank you.